Ladies and gentlemen, I am the War Boss Squee. Welcome to episode 21 of our Pokemon Soul Silver Warlock. Oh, I hope you all have had a good weekend. Mine was humbling. In more than one sense of the word. Now, last episode, we got our way to freeing the uh, chairman of the Goldenrod City Radio Tower. Druid's poisoned, but fortunately, poison will only take you down to 1 HP. It won't actually kill you. It was not an easy fight. Dupus, however, is doing well in his experience, and I might do some training uh, montages later on, but I don't think we need to do it right now. It was a good fight, and today we are going to be moving on towards uh, Blackthorn City, I believe. But first, I want to do something I've been putting off. I am actually going to be heading to the Safari Zone. I'm not a huge fan of the Safari Zone. I've mentioned this before. I always have horrible luck, regardless of the generation. It wasn't until they turned the Safari Zone into a sure thing, so to speak, that I had any luck with it. I am just... I'm not Safari Zone material, I suppose. But we're going to try it today. I'm still trying to figure out, how do you poison a rock exactly? He is a rock. Not, not, he doesn't have any organic parts in him. Unless it's some sort of caustic acid or something. Come on. But yeah, this uh, last couple of days have been very, very shit. Not even going to try to pretty it up. But just a variety of things happen. I'm feeling a little bit bummed out, but... I'm playing, video I'm playing Pokemon. That makes me happy, so... I just, I had to buy a new mouse this morning with the last of my money before my paycheck, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to use my computer at all. Thankfully the new mouse worked. I, it's like everything else on my computer, uh, That I got that mouse when I got the computer back in like 2003, 2004, so it's fairly ancient by today's standards. So like the monitor, like uh, a set of speakers I had to replace uh, a couple months ago. Just. It's old, it's worn out, and it's fallen apart, and I need to upgrade and fix things. I don't know why I went here. Then, some days, I feel the same way. I feel old and worn out and thinking, man, I could use some replacement parts. But, we're not living in that cyberpunk future yet, so I'm just going to have to do with the meat I've got. I need to get some potions, so I think I ran out of healing supplies. Yeah, you're the person. Um, we're going to get some super potions, because super potions are useful to have just to top off with. And we're going to get some hyper potions. I think I've got... Yeah, I've got one of those left, so let's grab 14 of them. I did attempt to uh, play the uh, Voltorb flip a little bit off camera, thinking maybe I could... Uh, score enough points to pick up something neat. I'm shit at it. It's like Minesweeper and Minesweeper is a thinking man's game and I am not that kind of thinking man. I'm good with puzzles, but I'm not good with that and I do realize that it is in a lot of ways a puzzle. Just not the kind of puzzle that I excel at. Even remotely. So let's see. The Safari Zone is over here. Yeah, the plan is today is just to make it to uh, Blackthorn City. I don't know what all is going to be entailed in doing so. 
Uh, I've never actually gotten this far in the game. I do, however, know that the 8th Gym Leader is a Dragon-type Gym Leader. Mainly because she's always listed as one of the uh, most difficult Gym Leaders to face in Pokemon. And everybody's like top 5, top 10, you know, most difficult Gym Leaders. She's always up there. Oh, what do we have here? That's a hiker. I wonder if he's, if he wants to battle. I'm gonna send up Doofus. He's got Surf. All right, let's see. Item. Take that. We're gonna take the Amulet coin. We're gonna put the Amulet coin on Doofus. He doesn't need the experience share if he's going to be uh, getting full experience. So there we go. I need to put some points on. Some experience in Fester and Ripley, but I think, and I'm not positive that uh, Claire's Pokemon are around level 40, high 30s, early 40s, so I don't need to do a lot of grinding to get these guys up. It is, however, probably going to requ require some, and I'm hoping that the journey there will help. Longing for others is what it is, but battles are battles, so let's go. A Dunsparce. This is a brave man. Now we're going to set up some curses. Oh, for... Ah, oh, you asshole. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting that. No, oh, you were expecting me to switch and trying to... Trying to get cute. All right. Well, I don't think he can really hurt me that much, so let's just try to wake up. The fence curl. Well, push him to the shovel, just hit it with a surf. Ah, I think one more headbutt ought to do the trick. Uh, I don't think the defense curl is going to help. I think it's uh, it's too close, and with the curse up, I should be doing just enough. There we go. Jesus. Two Dunsparce. This guy's crazy. Alright, let's set up another defensive curl. Or another curse, rather. I think it's interesting that uh, this thing hasn't attacked yet. It goes for the yawn again. Okay, so we know it's got defensive curl. We know they've got yawn, but... I don't know what kind of attacks they have. Three Dunsparces, that's... I, I'm just going to throw this out here. I don't think I've ever run into a single trainer in any Pokemon game that's ever had a Dunsparce. I don't... I, I'm not aware of that ever being a thing. Okay, so defense... Yawn to put the enemy to sleep. Defensive curls on the Switch or just as much as you can while they're asleep. And then use the the added attack bonus from rollout from defensive curl for rollout. That's not a bad combination. Um, it's not going to work just because of the level difference. But if I was a lower, if all my mods were lower level, that could technically kind of suck a little bit, I guess, depending on who I had. All right. There's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Ooh, another trainer. Uh, I believe that's a uh, picnicker. I'm not good with large crowds, so I'm camping out here with my Pokemon. Are you the same way? 
matter of fact, I am. I'm not socially awkward. I don't like crowds of people just because I don't like the noise. That's Skip Loom. It's uh, grass flying, I think, so we'll just go for the confusion. Stun Spore. Oh, that could have sucked. That's really gonna suck. Let's see how many are they doing per hit? Uh, six. I only hit twice. I guess I shouldn't worry about it too much. Even if he hits with all five, he's not gonna kill me. Even if he cr crits with half of them. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm hoping that's not the level because I think that's an evolved Pokemon. Yeah, there we go. 29. Awesome sauce. Alright, attack went up. Special defense went up. You know, it's funny. Uh, Water Pulse. What is Water Pulse physical or special? I think it's... Yeah, it's special. Yeah, I've got Surf for that, so I'm going to pass... Tomorrow. Eh, we'll stay in. That's a physical. It's a uh, water normal type, I believe. So, uh. Set up a curse. That's gonna do nothing. I'm especially defensive, and it's not very effective because of the water. The worst you can do is get a speed drop on me, I think, and I'm already slow, so I don't care. Should have head deeper into the mountain, I guess. Yeah, well. Let's see, we've got an item over here. Probably something useless. A revive! Yes, that would... That's Well, it's not... Even the items I'm not using aren't useless, they're just free money. And there's nothing really wrong with that. This is a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be. What do we got here? See a fork in the road inside a cave. Most likely one is right and the other leads to a dead end. But people can't help trying both. Up the ladder, down the ladder. Uh, we're going to go down the ladder because I think up the ladder is going to lead to that double battle. Which I'm totally cool with. Ooh! Actually, I can get an encounter here. So what will it be? A king... I... I have a Krabby. I was excited. I have a Krabby, but we're not going to be catching this guy. All right. Um, I do want to switch out, though. Not a lot of good options. You know, we'll just stick in. Um, go for a Confusion. I was all excited, like, ooh, Kingler, I don't have... No, no, I have I have a Krabby. Kingler is pretty awesome. And we got the Confusion. Yeah, it's about what I figured. Yeah, I was going to be a little bit more excited about that, but I'm like, eh. Confusion doesn't work when it's my opponent that's confused. It jacks me up, but it's not something to be impressed when it happens to the other guy. Oh, well, I am occasionally wrong, however. Oh, we can surf here. Um, Route 47, does this... Let's look at the map here. I don't really know much about this area. Uh... I want to go up the cliff road. There's probably something down here. Um, yeah, you know, let's check it out. We can surf. <laughs> He's even slow getting into the water. That's awesome. Well, that, that could be the lag from the game. I'm not really certain. It's down here.
Now these aren't actually bad to run into, they can't really hurt me at all. So I resist the water and I resist the poison, and confusion will be super effective. I do need to heal though. Now poison would be inconvenient, but I don't think he can actually poison me. Come on, get a crit so we can wrap this up, please. Uh, you know, I don't want to risk it. We're gonna we're gonna throw a potion on Doofus real quick. Don't want to get too frisky. Now we've got a full team. Don't want to mess with that at all. See, yeah, that might have been a problem. Now. If we manage to get, make it through the 8th Gym Leader without any losses, we're going to be able to stockpile that that badge. That badge will count for later, so if we lose somebody, then we can switch somebody in. And it gives us a free switch out for a Pokemon, so that'll give us a little bit more uh, uh, tactical options. It would have come up a couple of gyms ago, but let's face it, it didn't go my way in a couple of places. I really need to, I really need to sell some of this stuff. It's cluttering up my inventory and it's not doing me any good. Anything up this way? Nah, it looks just like a dead end. Now that is a new new encounter and a new capture. Let's see if we can get him. Uh, he should be able to take the confusion. Icy wind, that's nice. Yeah, slows me down, but it doesn't matter because Doofus is slow anyway. Alright, don't kill it, Doofus. Alright, he's confused. Let's see about catching him. Go with the Great Ball. I don't want to. I've got three Ultra Balls. I don't want to risk them just yet. Come on. You want to be friends with me, Seal? You're confused. You don't know up from down. Just stay in the ball. Awesome. That is awesome. In daytime is also is often found asleep on the seabed in shallow waters. Its nostrils close while it swims. Yes, we're going to give it a nickname, and we shall name her... Hmm. Elsa. Only, uh, I usually name my Glaceons Elsa. But since Glaceon's not a thing in this generation, we'll go with our female seal. And it's only because she's a nice type, so... Oh my god, you're comparing a beautiful Disney princess to a freaking blubbery seal. Yeah, shut up. Alright, so, normally I would be avoiding these fights, but like I said, it's these guys are basically free experience, they can't do much to me. Now, I really have to remember what Doofus' ability is. I think it's uh, own tempo, I don't think he can be confused. Which it would make sense. It takes him so long to think about stuff before he realizes it's oblivious. Prevents him from becoming infatuated. Not really as useful because I don't think we're going to be running into a whole lot of that uh, after we got past Whitney. Right, so anything over here? Besides more tentacles. Resist that all over. Still did some pretty good damage for being resisted and all. Toxic spikes. Don't plan on switching, so that's kind of pointless. Uh, 
Oh, so close. It'll just surf it to death. Crap. There's actually an item. Uh, a binding band, I think, that you can get in 6th gen. I don't know if it's available in any earlier generations. But it actually ups the damage of your Constrict and Wrap. I don't think it works on moves like uh, Magma Storm or uh, Whirlpool. But so you get a little bit more percentage damage, and you have something like a burn or a toxic on him. It starts to add up pretty nicely. Alright, now assuming we don't get a low roll, this should finish it off. Nah, we're good. Okay, awesome. Alright, what's over here? Uh, a waterfall, and I don't have... I don't have the TM for waterfall yet. I think. Alright, so this will be our, our last battle. I'll just run from everything else after this point, because this is honestly just taking too damn long. Come on, Doofus. Get a crit, get a confusion, get something. Oh, got the confusion. Okay. Now, will it actually work in my favor? Probably not. Let's find out. It didn't. But it's immaterial anyway. Toxic spikes don't matter. That's also funny. Uh, there's a couple of Pokemon in the wild that will use entry hazards. I can't think of any trainers or gym leaders that do. So attack went up, defense went up, special defense went up again. Yeah, this is a very physically invested Pokemon at this level. Do we have Waterfall? I don't think we do. I know we need... No, it doesn't matter. Even if we do have it, we can't use it until we get the 8th gym badge. So. That is something to come back about. Once we get... Uh, once we deal with Claire, we will come back and find out what's what up there, because there's got to be something up there. Something valuable, something interesting. I would be interested to see what it is. No, oh, I didn't want to do that. Get back in there, doofus. We're not done playing in the water just yet, my friend. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. I don't understand why anybody goes swimming in the Pokemon world because there's poisonous jellyfish just fucking everywhere. Can't escape. Oh, probably because I'm slower. Yeah, your uh, your chance to escape is based on the speed difference between you and your opponent, so. Now we need to heal up again. Nope. Nope, 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 no, we're not capturing this thing. We already have one, thank you. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of hit points. A little bit of health, and then we can finish killing this thing. I could have just killed it then, but still. It was worth using the potion. I was going to have to use it afterwards anyway. All right, Doofus, finish it off, put it down, do your thing. There we go. That's a good water bear thing. I'm not really sure what a slow poke is supposed to be. 
the the ears and the general features make me think bear, but that's not not so sure. Not not, ugh, not necessarily true. What's over here? Another waterfall. Okay, so no big deal there. Oh, come on, get there. We go. So that was kind of a wasted trip, but it's all right. Got some experience for Doofus. That's always good. Ooh, a Golbat. Ah, uh, Bella. Could have been a Crobat. Definitely would have been a Golbat. Uh, I'm disappointed in that so much. This should just kill, though, I think. They're not exactly especially defensive. Oh, did half. Wow, that was close. Shit. Alright, no fucking around. Hyper Potion. Oh, I'm playing sloppy today. And I, I've just been kind of down the last couple of days, and I guess my heart's not really into it, but... This is one of those things that always makes me feel better, so I figured, why not? Why not play? potion on. Maybe two, depending. No, one should do it. Alright, now let's go deal with that double battle outside. And we're almost at the half hour mark, and I haven't even managed to accomplish anything yet. That's kind of depressing. Who got here? One plus one is two, but the two of us together is much stronger. Two of us aren't just some boring pair. Okay. So what exactly are you guys? You are Double Team Thom and Kai. She's hot. Well, shit. That's slightly inconvenient. Let's switch out for Eleanor. And Lockjaw can... I don't want to surf, because that'll hit Eleanor. We're going to crunch the Electabuzz. I'm, I should be faster. I don't think a crunch will kill, but... The, oh, the Magmar protected. Okay, that's fine. Whew. Yes, I saw that Thunderbolt coming. Okay, we're going to headbutt the Magmar and crunch again on the Electabuzz. What's with the Magmar Protect? Does it learn it naturally? I don't know. Oh, I should have seen that coming. Alright, so we're going to go for another headbutt. You know, it pulled off a double Protect. That's actually rather impressive. That's a uh, low chance of that happening. A critical hit. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh. That is ridiculous. I like that I got some good stat boost off of that. Slash no. No, you're wrong. Slash is a good move, it's physically powerful, and it's got a high crit rate, but I don't have anything I want to give up. That was what I expected. You're unusual too, and you guys are assholes. Oh, I'm burned and I'm paralyzed, and I don't think I have a burn heal. Be okay. Do I have a... I have one paralyzed heal. So, that's for Lockjaw. Uh, I have 
I have a full heal. Yeah, we're going to have to use the full heal. I hate to use it for something like this, but... Eleanor would take damage over time, and that doesn't reduce you to one. That will just flat out kill you as far as I understand it. Okay, that's what the top of the wa that waterfall is an item. And no, I don't even need to go up the waterfall. What are you? Are you something useful? A lagging tail. Uh, good for fling and good for switcheroo, but not... S I don't have either of those moves, so it's not very important for me. Oh, Jesus. What do you two want? Is that a rocker and a... Rocker and a beauty? Watch out when my girlfriend makes my heart sore. My heart's feeling for my boyfriends are as wide and deep as the ocean. Sorry, I had to cough a little bit there. Jeez. That's a young couple. An onyx and a cloister. Alright. Well, I can just surf here. Yeah, and it's going to hit Lockjaw, but Lockjaw's not going to care, and we'll crunch the cloister. I didn't think I'd do anything. That will take out the Onyx, so it's uh, four times super effective. It's a rock ground type, so. And it actually took out the Cloister. I'm kind of shocked. I know it was level 30, but that's uh, at least one time resisted. That was no match for you. You're really something. That was actually pretty much a perfect outcome right there. Right, are we fucking there yet? Jesus God. Route 48. So we have another encounter we get. I could be headbutting trees, but... Let's see what we got here. Please be a fire type. That would be nice. It's a gloom. Uh... I think I have an oddish. Matter of fact, I'm almost positive I have an Oddish, so we're gonna... We're just gonna kill this thing. Yeah, I think I do, because Oddish are fucking everywhere. Oh, thank god that missed. How's it faster than me, though? I mean... I know it's four levels higher, but uh, Farfetch isn't exactly slow. Mega Drain, that's not going to do anything. I resist that. My Aerial Ace should do the job. Now, if it turns out that I have actually caught some... Ooh, nugget. If it turns out that I don't actually have an Oddish and I should have caught the Gloom, whatever I catch here, I will later on release. That is only fair. But let's see what we got. Ah, hop it. Really? I don't want it, Sam I am. So we're just... Oh, and I don't have any more frickin' Paralyzed heals, goddammit. You know what? I don't even care to kill this thing, and I don't care to catch it. Can't escape! God bless it. I don't want to sleep... I don't want to switch into a sleep powder or a paralyzed powder, so we're just gonna... You know what? Screw it. We'll catch it just in case we run into another one later.
And that seems like kind of a waste of a Pokeball. This thing's useless. You know, there's a uh, there's a YouTuber that does uh, Pokemon content by the name of Pimp Knight, which I'm assuming if you if you're watching me, you probably heard of him because he's big. Uh, he actually does uh, one of the things he does. He does sweep videos. And I think he actually did a sweep with a with a uh, hop at once. But it was one of those things where he had to set up a bunch of entry hazards and then uh, a couple of tail glows and the baton passed the tail glows and everything else. It was a it was an involved situation. Hey, there's people here. This is as far as I'm gay. Are you guys merchants? So I to carry Pokemon drinks. This will be new to me, but I will do my best. Welcome, what do you need? What do you sell? That's actually kind of interesting. Oh, he's got this crap. Uh, you know what? You're gonna buy my junk. Okay, so we're gonna sell the revive. Take the nugget. Let's see anything else to sell? No, we don't sell those. Nope. There we go. See ya. All right. What do you have to sell? There are many Pokemon to choose from. Nothing beats the cuteness of Slowpoke. Obviously, I look like one. That's probably not a compliment, lady. Safari Zone. It makes me feel like I am in a foreign country. It brings up a strange feeling. Oh, she's got a Butterfree. Those are awesome. I like Butterfree. Oh, I buy something. Can you wait a while while I get it? Just a minute. Da -da. Welcome. What do you need? This is odd. Quick balls. A somewhat different Pokeball that provides a better catch rate if you use the start of a wild encounter. That's awesome. We'll take 10. Do you, do, you, do you sell any timer balls? No. No, I love quick balls. I've actually caught legendaries in quick balls. So just, they have such a good uh, uh, catch rate at the very beginning. What do you got? Safari, Safari, it's so much fun. Safari, Safari, so interesting. Huh. So many Pokemon are waiting for us. It's a song I may I sing it while I'm in the Safari Zone. Okay, so you just, you don't have anything to sell, but you've got a cool little ditty. I, I respect that. You got a candy scone. I am not a talker. Nor are you a merchant, apparently. And neither is Kangaskhan. And that was a little girl one. I have always wanted to catch my first Pokemon in the Safari Zone. So go do it. Oh, is somebody up there? Is that a ditto? It might be a ditto. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We store your tire Pokemon to full health. Yes. I'll talk to these two folks real quick here as well. You know, I didn't think it was going to take this long to get to the Safari Zone. Probably would have helped if I used my bicycle. I keep forgetting I have it. Huey! Huey Long. Sup! This is Huey, how are you? How are your Pokemon doing? My Pokemon are a bit too energetic. Poliwet, I guess, especially. Every time it spots a trainer, it just charges along in the battle. It gets to be a bit too much for me later. Uh, I really regret giving up my phone number to a lot of these guys, because they're not really worthwhile. Those, uh, those who come to a Pokemon Center often take good care of their Pokemon, wouldn't you agree? Oh, how else are you going to take care of them? Oh, come on, dude. Come, come here. The long walk in the mountains to find a Pokemon Center when you're just about to fall flat. Then it feels like you're in paradise. Yeah, I cannot disagree with that. You're like, oh my god, where's the nearest Pokemon Center? I'm tired. This is bullshit. The Safari Zone is great. I just kept going after Pokemon. This made my Jigglypuff upset, though. Oh, he actually... It's a, I thought it was a uh, Ditto. Alright, we're at least going to try out the Safari Zone here because we've taken all this time to get here. Hi, I've been waiting for you. What do you think? This is a brand new Safari Zone, by the way. I just had an idea. Would you like to take the Owner Aptitude Test? Okay. 
Right on, let me explain how the test works. It's very easy. All you have to do is catch one Geodude at the Safari and show it to me. They are in the grass nearest the po entrance. It shouldn't take long before you catch one. Good luck. There's a whole bunch of guys over here. What's going on? The reception for the Safari Zone link, or should I say is going to be. We're still not ready. Please come back later. That's a moot point. So this cannot be used yet. Warm. Baoba has great plans for this machine, or so he says, but we don't even know what it is. It's a secret. Okay. I guess I have to talk to you first. 500. Yep. Yes, I would. All right, now if I believe they changed the format for this, it's not a uh, it's not a time thing, or by the number of steps, it's the, you have you have until you run out of Pokeballs. So, all right, so we get one encat one encounter in the first area, and if we find a Geo dude, we're gonna catch it for the guy, but it's not gonna count because that's kind of like a quest thing. That's not a Geo dude, and I already have one. So, you, my little friend, do not count. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see what else we got here. And there's a Geodude. Okay, let's throw some bait. He's eating, he's watching carefully. Throw some mud. And a ball. There's actually a procedure for this. I'm going to have to go check out one of Shady Penguin's uh, soul links. They actually, him and Nappy went into what the proper uh, proper sequences for these things. And I think it's bait, mud, mud, bait, mud, ball. I think. Don't quote me on that, though. All right, so there's a G there's a Geo dude. No, we're not keeping you. That's a Geo dude for the Safari Zone uh, owner. Now, what are we gonna find for us? If, it, if it's a sand sand shoe, I will literally just shit myself. A magneton, and I don't have a magnemite. I will take that. So bait. Don't get me wrong, I'm not really sure how it's eating that, but bait, mud. Mud. Bait. Ah, shit. Okay, so that... That's the end of that. All right, so zone one, we didn't find anything, but let's give this guy his Geodude. Yeah. Let me just come back. It's not a big deal. Now, can I just talk to him, or do I actually have to have it at my party? Okay. Um, I need to go to a PC then. Probably why there's a Pokemon Center right here, just so they can have the PC. Doofus for the Geodude. Now, real quick. Alright, there's a hop that I caught. Kingler. I don't see an Oddish in here. Nope, we don't have an Oddish. What about Box 2? That's a dead box, but okay, just uh, Bella and Scrambled. So, yep, no Oddish, which means that Blossom here is a illegal capture. So we need to get rid of it. Now, how do I... Now, oh shit. 
There we go. Release. Off you go, little buddy. Should have gone with the gloom. Not, however, a big deal. There's probably something great in that grass, too, but it's the way the Nuzlocke goes. Pass the first test. Huh? Did I tell you that there are two tests? That's right. Becoming an owner is not that easy. The second test is, while I'm still preparing for it, I'll let you know once it's ready and just need to wait a little bit. Okay, so let's go through here and see what we can catch. Now, oh, one more step up, please. Alright, so, we lost out on our Zone 1 capture. That Magneton would have been pretty awesome. I don't think it has an evolution in this generation, though, but still. So, that's Zone 1. This is Zone 2. Is there any grass here? Okay, there we go. I could fish, too, if I want. And we'll try both. As you can do both, or I could headbutt a tree or something. It's a Paris. Not overly excited about that, to be completely honest. Ah, eat and run. What an asshole. Alright, landed a Pokemon. Let's see what we get here. Please don't be a flippin' Magikarp. A Goldeen. I, I dig it. Okay. Mud. Ah, damn it. I hate this fucking mechanic. Alright, so that's Zone 2 blown out. I guess we're gonna have to go up. Okay, here's zone three. I have a good feeling about this patch of grass right here. What do we have? Farfetched. Okay, that's dupes. So we're just gonna let him go. Centret. That's also dupes. I'm thinking of this patch of grass right here. Come on. Ah, no, guess not. Ooh, hello. Haven't had much luck with you fellows before. Let's see what we got. Watching carefully. Uh, let's give him some mud. Okay, so bait makes him stick around, but makes it harder to catch him. Mud pisses him off and makes him more likely to run away, but makes it easier to catch him. So with two, I, I might balance out. I don't know. Son of a gun. Come on, one more. We got th we got three shakes off of that. Let's see if we can make this happen. Shit. And he's going to take off. Yep. Called it and won. Oh, for God's sakes. Uh, so, so far we're having horrible... No, we're going to headbutt this time. We're going to go over that tree. We're going to go around to that tree and headbutt. Spirit, have one of those. And I can't capture anything here. Anyway... 
Now you might have noticed that my Pokeballs went back to 30th because I had uh, my screen glitched and I had to reset. So, cost me an extra 500 Pokebucks, but whatever, I suppose. I have Headbutt. Don't I? No, that's not the right button. Uh, yeah, Eldor's got Headbutt. Oh, I guess you can't headbutt in here. Okay, so fishing it is. And we have... Poliwag. I would be okay with the Poliwag. Let's give him some bait. Have some food, little buddy. Bait, bait, mud, bait, mud ball. I think that's the that's the the sequence. Bait. Mud. Let's see if this works. So remember, this was supposed to be like a surefire way. Ah, uh, nope. Come on. It's bait, mud, bait. Uh, bait, bait, mud, bait, mud, ball. I swear that was a sequence. He's going to run away. Let's watch carefully. Let's try another ball. Screw it. I don't even care if we catch him. I just want to catch something in the safari zone to justify the hour I spent trying to get here. Thank you! Dempsey lives again! Ah, uh, Dempsey. A great fighter taken before our time. Of course, it would probably help if I spelled his name properly. There we go. Alright, so we have at least one capture to justify our trek over here. Now let's go into the next section. What is... That sounds weird. Why is this Geo dude following me? I thought he was supposed to be taken. I was supposed to give him away. All right, Geo dude, you're getting released as soon as we get back. All right, another section. Let's see what we can find. An Ekans. I like Ekans. Okay, so, we're going to try the same sequence as before. Bait, bait, mud, bait, mud, ball. And we're going to see if that works out for us. Alright, throw some more bait. Mud. As I would love to get an Atkins, because Arbok is pretty awesome. Bait. Come on, you like me, you like me. Son of a bitch. Let's get out of the grass. This is really starting to piss me off. What about, can I headbutt you? I can't headbutt you, I'm not gonna bother fishing. All right, next section. What'll it be? Sunkern. Don't even give a shit. Just, I don't even. Alright, that's the end of that section. So I believe that was section five. So there should be one more section over here, I think. Yeah, we have to go down for the next one.
I just realized that my mic was off. Sorry about that, but very excited for this. Come on. Yes, it worked. Thank you, the King Nappy. Ah, so this was not a wasted effort after all. Its fingertips emit a particular force field that hardens the air to create an actual wall. It's the barrier Pokemon. Now, yes. Let's see. It's kind of clown looking. Let's see what we should name it. All right. Well, I was going to name it after a famous clown, but I thought, well, I could name it after an actor who's played a famous clown. And I can't think of a more famous actor for playing a clown than Tim Curry. Okay, so we got a Poliwag and a Mr. Mime. I declare this particular Safari Zone a success. Now, can I headbutt a tree in here? Still no option to headbutt. That's really weird. I don't have to have the Pokemon in the head of my party. Right, in this area we've already been in. Alright, so. That was not a complete waste. Still have Safari Balls left? Yeah, we're, we're done here. Oh, Wade wants to say hello. I think you're a hiker. Howdy. How are you? How come you're not here yet? Route 31 is where I am. Please get here as soon as you can. Oh, yeah, that's the guy that's got berries for me. Yeah, next episode, we're going to go do that. But for now, for now, we're going to call it a part here. Uh, that was more successful than I expected it to be. I'm sorry if I'm kind of off today. Like I said, it's been a bad weekend, and it's been it's been a downer. Now I'm feeling a little bit down. But I'm we played some Pokemon. We had some success. I'm actually feeling a little bit better. So you guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow for Fallout. We'll pick this up again on Wednesday. Have a great day. I'm the Warboss Squee. Peace.